So today has been a good week, especially for my little bro, because he got his new car by the title of the video. I wanted to share you guys how we got that car because I feel like pretty interesting and motivational for anyone who's out there for almost anything you want to achieve. So I'm going to ask Joseph how he got the car because the story is actually pretty interesting and he's going to tell you all about it. So Joseph, tell me about the car. <laughs> <laughs> Talk, talk about your homework assignment. Wait, how old are you, first of all? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me your age, your social security number. I'm 14. Your height. My social security your... number is 723. Where do you live? Five, your six, school? Eight, seven, two, two, five, seven. Your shoe size? Three. Bro. <laughs> I'm so 14, got the car. and I bought my dream car. No, but how though? What'd uh, you do at school? <laughs> <laughs> Just say you had an assignment. I had an assignment at school. It's about writing your dreams down, and if you write them down, they'll come true. And I wrote down for one of them, my dream car. And then, before all of this happened, we saw a guy who had the car I had wanted. Like in the neighborhood? In the neighborhood. And his uncle previously wanted it, so he wasn't gonna sell it to us, but. And then out of nowhere. Well, first of all, the homework assignment was on Thursday. Yeah, it was on a Thursday. And then the guy messaged us on Friday. On the Friday, right after. And it was Friday. random too. Random out of nowhere if I still wanted to buy the car and we bought the car let's go check it out so before showing you guys a car which is right here can you guys guess what type of car this might be that's underneath this car cover let's see if you can guess what just guess what type of car might be under this any guesses Here's up front, the top, just any guesses, any guesses you guys think. Joseph, do me a favor and take off the car cover. Okay, I see you with the new whip. What is that, a Lamborghini? Psych! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Joseph officially owns an MR2. <laughs> right? Huh? How old are you? 14. You're 14 and you already have your dream car. An MR2. Let's give them a trip inside. Now as you can see, Bruh. the bumper is missing. Who has it? <laughs> Open the car. Give us a tour. Open the car. Shit. No seats. <laughs> what is all this? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no. They're extra parts for the car. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So this is the inside of the MR2. As you can see, it has a bunch of work that needs to be done. There's a famous MR2 logo. 
for the steering wheel. And Joseph has his MR2 Hot Wheel. So Joseph's about to open the engine bay. Uh, we're gonna see what type of engine is underneath this hood. Joseph's gonna do the honors, obviously. Okay. Yo! Wait, that's not the engine. Oh, I forgot the engines are in the back. Bruh. Oh, that was really cool. And then we'll open it and you can be like, oh, it's a 2JZ player. <laughs> I bet. Okay, so this car has a what? Mid engine? Is that what it's called? What? This car. A mid engine? What's that? I don't know. What what is this called right here? When the engine's in the back? I don't know. Bruh. Okay, so the engine's back here. So, Joseph. It's not attached. Yo! Wait, where's the engine? <laughs> this one doesn't have an engine. No. What the hell? That's no, fine. So, obviously, when we got the car, the guy had a bunch of spare parts and he didn't really have anything in the right place. So, it's our job now to figure out what he's done to the car. That way, we can rebuild the engine. We'll basically rebuild and fix everything top to bottom. Now, you can expect some MR2 videos coming soon or whenever. All thanks to this kid right here. Huh? His dreams came true. <laughs> so respect. Shake my hand. Thank this kid right here. He's a proud owner of a MR2. 1991, for any of you guys curious. SW20. SW20, 2JZ swap. Our HRE 35-3693 wheels. 3SGE. 3SGE headlights, twin turbo exhaust, you have tinted windows, no spoiler yet, coming soon, and you also have this very rare cut cable, only in the 1991 models. $250 mirrors, they fold back, Most you don't see cars like that anymore. It falls. <laughs> Fuck. I know I didn't really explain like how we got the car that well, so I'm gonna explain it again. So my brother was recently got into cars, right? And um there was a car that he really liked, which was the MR2, the one we have right now. He saw it in our neighborhood and he was like, yo, this guy has an MR2. So one day we like this was like two three months ago before we got the car so me and joseph go and ask the guy you know um are you selling the car so uh, he tells us that you know he was planning on doing a case swap and he was trying to do a manual it's, it, it's automatic right now so you know we ask him like hey how much do you want for the car and he says um well he told me first his uncle wanted it because he wanted to fix it up and then, you know, we were like, ah, oh, man, that sucks. Because, like, Joseph wanted it, right? So, you know, a couple months later, comes by. And then, out of nowhere, honestly, like, I get a message from him. And he says that if we want the car. And this was spontaneous, too. Because, like, I, it was, I was eating lunch. And, you know, I just get this random message saying, you still want that MR2? And then I was like, yo, let me talk to Joseph. So then me and Joseph talked and, you know, we decided to get the car. So then we went over there. Oh, wait, I forgot to say that um, the reason why they gave us the car or they sold the car was because his uncle didn't want to fix it no more. And because they were, they were trying to remodel their house. So that's why he wanted to get rid of it. We go on Saturday. Keep in mind, the message was on like a Friday. 
that's when I got the message. And then on Saturday, we go to his house and basically pick up the car. And then that's how we got the MR2. This is actually pretty interesting because Joseph had like an assignment, like he said in the other clips. He had an assignment on like Thursday about running his dream car. And he wrote the MR2. And then the crazy thing is that like Friday, I get a message saying like, do you still want the MR2? And I was like, yo, what? Thanks to Joseph's teacher for that, because um, I'm pretty sure that wouldn't have happened. That's the crazy part about it, you know. He wrote down his dreams and then it happened, like, yo, in like a day. That's crazy, right? Okay, so this led to me, like, you know, like, hey, that if that worked for Joseph, you know, it might work for me. Um, So, yeah, uh, Joseph got me writing down my dreams on a piece of paper for just for that, because he got his dream car at like an early age so I think that's pretty cool this is this goes to show you that no matter you know no matter what you want in life you know it's gonna happen you know it's not gonna happen today or tomorrow or the next day after that it's gonna happen sooner or later and Joseph you you're freaking lucky bruh like he got his dream car now we gotta fix it up and uh make a special for him good luck joseph so good luck joseph and congratulations to your brand new car hey you're gonna be seeing this uh a couple years from the future from where we started bro like that's crazy from owning a like mr2 and then like from the final product yo i can't wait to see the final product that's gonna be sick it might be better my integra like yo come on now now me and Joseph are gonna own two JDM cars. Two. We're gonna be the JDM bros for life.